Guys, welcome to StoneCoatCountertops.com on YouTube. In this video, we're going to show you an ocean river table pour. It's a fantastic video. This is something we've been working on. We wanted to bring you behind the scenes to show you step by step how we take our casting epoxy, our additives, to create unique one of a time tables. I'm Mike, this is Mitch, and we are live. Stay tuned, enjoy the video. Remember, when you subscribe to our channel, click on the red subscribe button and be sure to ring the bell so you get notified every time we have a new video. Thanks again. All right, guys, we're about to get started. Mitch, are you ready for this? I am ready. This is a cool looking table already i can't wait to see what we do with it today guys we're doing it for a reason we wanted to create layers and depth in this ocean table river table pour and this is for a special friend of ours a it new friend is a new friend and was he nice and cool who was it nate morris boys two men nate morris we met him out in vegas we went to a show we went behind the scenes we we saw their their band warm up we hung out that with them a little bit this has been a fun pour we brought this back to oregon yep we're going to really up level this table we are we're going to create depth so we have crater lake blue in here right now mm -hmm. we have sky blue it's a lighter color blue it's actually an alumalite color that we carry at stone coat countertops mm -hmm. and then we're going to be adding a little bit of light colors and having some fun i really wanted to bring you and show you how we do this today mitch you got any questions for him i do let us know where you're watching from and i'll be behind the computer here answering questions shooting those to mike so let us know those questions and we'll help you out here today. Guys, if you have fun in this video, crush that like button, subscribe, ring the bell because we're going live a lot and we got some stuff counting down to the holidays, some fun videos in the queue. So be sure to subscribe. I know we got a lot of people that have joined the channel. Welcome. Welcome. Let's have some fun. Let's do this. Okay, I've got our regular casting epoxy already poured, already mixed. We're not messing around. Chris, come up here to this cam right here on the table so they get the real look at this table, okay? So go, go ahead and sw uh, switch to that one, yeah, if you can. So Chris is back there behind the controls. Uh, that's our overhead, so you kind of get the, the view of that. And then boom, I want to actually move this and look at... Look at how deep that already is. Mitch, can you go yeah, around and, cable. and show them that? It. Look at how this is coming out. Now, guys, I need you to know this, you can see down into some of that burl and some of those pins and stuff from this, this wood. Uh, what I'm trying to accomplish is depth in layering. And so I don't need to use super cast on this pour because I'm only going to go about three quarters of an inch. And then I'm probably going to stop short an eighth from the top because I want to put foam and waves. Now, when we did this with Nate Morris, we put some effects in, but the deeper your pour, the more those effects intermix, okay? So I'm about to pour this, but I have a special, I have a special friend I want to introduce yeah. everybody to. Um, this is a mother-daughter team, okay? I, uh, I, I noticed them on Instagram. They are crushing it. They just started. They have 50,000 followers on Instagram because they do something really key. They share what they do. They do it for free. They help their community. And man, I'm stoked for these two. They've also agreed to come to the Artisan Summit in yeah. 2020. Guys, if you haven't heard about the Artisan Summit, it's where we're going to teach how to turn your craft into cash, how to turn your passion into profit, how to use social media marketing and use those modern techniques to up level your business and ultimately your life. Okay, so mm -hmm. I'm actually, I'm gonna put them on the spot. I'm gonna call them, because we're, we're gonna give them an award and I wanna do it over the right. phone. They We've never done this it. before. They are crushing it on Instagram. So uh, I'm gonna call them right now, all right? Here we go. Put it on speaker, you guys can hear. So be quiet, don't say anything during the call. We'll see, we'll see what they say. Hello. Christy. Is this Christy? Hi. This is Christy. Mike, Stone Coat Countertops, how are you? Hey, Mike. I'm doing well. How are you? You're live. You're live on YouTube. Oh, my gosh. I'm shaking like a leaf. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be shaking. I'm here with Mitch. I, have you talked to Mitch yet, Christy? No, I haven't had the, the opportunity to yet. Hey, hey, Christy. It's a pleasure to speak with you. You've been crushing it on Instagram. Well, thank you, Mitch. Yeah, you and your daughter Madison work together creating works of art 
functional art with resin, right? We do. And I love your content. We were just actually watching one of your time-lapse videos of you, you guys making a geode. That was really, really cool. Well, thanks. We, but, we really enjoy doing what we do. So I have a couple of gifts for you. The first one is our resin play button. I'm holding it up to the video so when you get a chance to look at the video, this resin play button is something that we created for creators to say thank you for using our products in video content and doing a fantastic job showcasing what these things can do. And then also our You Got This Award. So you get the You Got This Award and our resin play button and we're going to send you some free products just to play with and make more cool content with. No way. We are so honored. I can't believe it. Oh, heck yeah, Christy. Thank you so much. And then we talked uh, a little while ago, and you agreed to speak at the Artisan Summit with your daughter. Absolutely. That is, that is cool. We're totally stoked to hear your story and why you use Instagram and how you and your daughter stay friendly with one another working together so much. Like, okay. that's what I want to know. How, do, how does that work out? <laughs> Oh, we're the best of friends. That's awesome. That's so good. Well, hey, Christy, thank you so much for letting me give you a call. Uh, thanks for everything you're doing. I can't wait to meet you in April, and we'll send this package out. So one of us will be calling you to get your address, and we'll send this stuff out, okay? That's so great. Thank you so much. You made my entire year. Oh, oh. You, you got this. Let's give her you yeah. got this. One, two, three. You, you got, got this. this. All right, Congrats. Christy. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. All right, have a good day. Artisan yeah. Summit 2020, April 7th and 8th. Check it out, artisansummit.com. We have low room rates, bulk room rates. Get there today, it's gonna be epic. Guys, uh, so what I'm doing now, I'm just gonna grab some gloves and we're gonna pour this thing and then we're gonna add some color. The first thing I wanna do, because this, Mitch, you brought this back from Vegas. It's been a couple of days since we poured this. Yeah. So I'm gonna give it a mechanical bond. If I had just poured this yesterday, it wouldn't need to be sanded between coats because it's still gonna be open and porous right. and tacky, that kind of thing. So I'm just sanding this right here with 220 grit. I'm gonna create a lot of scratches in this. That's okay. You're not gonna see any of these scratches as soon as you pour that next coat. That's one thing that new, new folks with epoxy need to understand. You get to punch perfectionism in the face. It doesn't need to be perfect. You're, you're sincerely just sanding it to create a mechanical bond so that your layers stick to one another really, really well. So, hey, I'm doing I, that, yeah. We have a good question here. Uh, one of the viewers is asking, what step would you add stones to give it more of a 3D effect? Oh, very good question. So, you could add stones probably in that first pour. You could also, like, if I had another piece of this wood, I could create an island with that wood. I could mm. take glass or sea glass or shells. I could take anything and embed it in this river table, but the key is make sure it's non-porous. And so a seashell's not non-porous, mm -hmm. a rock is porous. So we add a, a seal coat. Just like we did on the edges of this, the steps that we've done so far is we created a form. We found a beautiful piece of wood. This was from the burl hunter. If you go to OregonBurls.com, this is where you get stuff like this. It's absolutely out of this world. The figure, the look, it's amazing. And if you're really good friends with him like I am, he's gonna give it to you. So you probably won't get it for free, but I did. I'm totally <laughs> thankful for that. So go go support OregonBurls.com. Yeah. Check out the Burl Hunter. He's been on National Geographic on TV and he showed how he goes and hunts these burls. He does it in a, in a way that absolutely promotes um, longevity in our forests and things like that. These are standing dead or these are nuisance that are gonna fall in a house or something like that. So he's really cool at, at, at the way he harvests these burls. Anyhow, We've built a form, we sealed the edges, and then uh, we created a watertight form by this Tyvek tape, and the Tyvek tape allows it to come out. We're gonna do a video step-by-step -step with Nate Morris, Boyce to Men, on how we did this whole thing. We were considering just filming this regular, but right. I think there's a lot of value in going live. As you know, I've already mixed this. This casting is sitting here, it's still cool. It's right. a slower cure, that's why we can do this. So it's a two to one ratio. We mixed it by hand with a stir stick because I don't want to entrain a bunch of bubbles. At depth, it's a little harder to get bubbles out. But let's say I got some a big bubble that's kind of bothering me that's a little low in the pour. I can heat up the tip of a screwdriver and get down there and pop that bubble. That's a pro tip, mm -hmm. but you're not gonna get bubbles if you mix it by hand and then you simply coat those edges first with quick coat. The quick coat also 
held this down, okay? Right. So I dripped quick coat kind of in that form. I sandwiched it all down, and then this won't float when I pour a nice heavy um, casting like I did here. I know that's a lot of talking, but that's the important things you need to understand when doing a river table. You don't want to be worried about your river table ending up on the floor. So build a form, seal it, follow our videos, and you're going to get amazing first time results. All right, Mitch, any other questions I can answer? Uh, one, uh, one viewer is asking how thick can they go with the countertop epoxy? Uh, countertop, you can go up to an eighth of an inch thick. Um, that's just fine. And honestly, I've cheated that. Like I've had some holes that I filled that were a good quarter, sometimes even three quarters, but it was like the size of a silver dollar. That's not going to generate too much heat. It's when you go mass and you use a product that's only designed as an eighth and you push that limit, you're going to get it to heat up too much. Okay. This isn't designed to heat up. Okay. It's designed to at three quarters of an inch to be pretty dang good for you. Another thing I want you to understand is after you sand, you want to wipe that dust. So I'm going to use a little bit of isopropyl alcohol. It's right here. And I'm going to get my rag damp with that. And I'm just going to wipe some of this dust off. Okay. And Nicholas, while you're doing that, is asking if you can pour over something with latex paint. And totally you can. You just want to lightly sand that with 220 grit. Wipe it clean like Mike's doing here. And then you're ready for epoxy. We also had a great question before the... Uh, the, before we went live and that question was how do you support the table when you're doing a translucent pour like this and hide the bars because typically we'll put bars that go across this table some supports that really support it well if you're gonna do that and you don't want to see bars you need to be strategic on your legs so I'm gonna use some legs that have support that go all the way across and I'll lag screw each side of this table to keep it from wanting a core uh, cup or warp or anything like that and then we're going to actually hide some leds under this thing we're going to light it up and nate morris is going to be able to show all his friends and family what the heck he helped create also nate morris is on diy network he's got a show where he flips houses in south florida and he doesn't just flip houses he flips mansions yeah. this guy knows how to get it done and so i really want to impress him because i want him to bring me out to florida and i'm going <laughs> to help him on a house no no uh, hint there nate you got to get me out there man all right so let's go ahead and uh real quick though what kind of wood is this this is walnut man this is uh black walnut this is black walnut it's absolutely out of this world so we showed this to nate and he uh man he was blown away this is just yeah. a beautiful piece what a cool contrast too all right mitch why don't you get on the handy cam nice. there and i'm gonna pour this and i'm gonna bring you guys in on this pour and show you uh what what my philosophy is on the pour is when i pour it um I, I pretty much can start at one side and let it do its thing. I'll, I'll move the bucket a little bit, but man, this is, talk about mesmerizing, man. This is, when you pour this out, it's like all your stress melts away. Guys, stay tuned to the end of the video. We're going to have a coupon code for you, and that coupon code is going to help you save 15% uh, on all the products we're using in this video. Um, we really stocked up for this part of the year. But we are selling out fast, and we're, we're not going to be able to keep up with demand. So use that, and use it fast and furious, because we want you to get everything ready to be a holiday hero and have that Christmas tree packed with Stone Coat Countertop products, okay? All right, let's get All started. All right, let's do this. And I want to thank our customer service that's on the comments right now. They are just doing a fantastic, oh my gosh. They are doing a fantastic job, and I just want to thank them for their hard work. This is a beautiful color, man. Yeah, great job there. Holy cow. Oh, yeah, that is so cool. Oh, you could still see that wood in, down in there. Oh, that's yeah. That's going to look great. I just have very little metallic in there. See, that's the key, guys, is I put a tip of a spoonful of metallic in there. So it's very little to still give us that depth. Oh, my goodness. I am loving that. Now look at what that does all by itself. Like run that camera down this thing, Mitch, and Got just it. show them, show them what just that pour does. And then if I grab like this paint stick, see this line right here? Like if I just want to move that around, I could just create my own pattern. Now this stuff's gonna move. I'm gonna give you another pro tip. 
Casting epoxy is gonna move throughout the pour, but the thinner you go in your layers, the more the movement retains. So in this pour, I'm not gonna have as much movement. But uh, as you can see, I left about an eighth of an inch exposed on the top. I'm gonna do a final coat, and that coat is going to have, um, like I'm gonna do a lot of white right here on the edges. I'm gonna do different things to really accentuate the banks and the waves hitting, but I'm gonna actually get a little bit of this and mix up some additives here just to start some of that depth and see how much of it retains. What do you guys think? So I think I'm gonna add a little bit of material into this cup. And I'll mix that up. And while you're mixing there, Mike, Ronald asks, how do you do the edge in a project like this? Um, we seal that edge first. You're talking about the edges. Uh, that's the outside edges. The outside you know, edges, the um, all I do is I pop the forms off. I'll sand that edge. I'll square the table up to make sure it's all perfect. And then I sand this whole thing and flood coat it. Um, so we'll teach you in the whole video how to do that. But I wanted you guys to... Um, I, want, I wanted to uh, ask if anybody saw our video on the mold making material. So this mold putty, it's a two part putty that I used. I did a live video. Chris, do you have that link in the description for that live video? We made, uh, of the link. We made a turtle, we made a seashell. Here, go ahead and go to over, overhead, Chris. So we got a seashell mold we did here. We got a, a stone coat countertop mold that we did, which is really, really cool. And then we got a little turtle that we did. And this mold putty, sincerely, all you do is put two parts in your hand, roll it together like putty, squeeze your object in it, and you got a really cool mold. So any excess epoxy, I could pour in these, yeah. and I could have a, a stone coat Christmas tree ornament right there, dude. That's cool. So um, really fun, really fun to do. Really, okay. really easy too to get into the mold making game. I'm gonna grab a little bit of this and I'm gonna add some white to it and I'm gonna create some waves with this. Hey, I got a working shop going on. Can you guys hear the saws running? Yeah, let us uh, know in the comments below. <laughs> I wanna Keeping know. Your pops working. Yeah, my, my dad's back there cutting something up. I don't <laughs> even think he knows that we're live. Uh, I'm about to be like, Pops. When he walked in, I went, so yeah, he's being real quiet back there, just <laughs> running, running the saws, man. So when he comes by, I'm gonna grab him. He won't know we're live. I'll be like, come check out what we're doing. <laughs> See if he even knows, that'd be fun. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Mitch, pull that camera to show him when you barely mix this, look at what kind of effects it, it gives you. Oh, wow. Look at how that looks like water waves. That is gonna look good. So watch this. I'm just gonna take this, and just start going right here on the edges. Okay, I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna push that back in with the stick. But this is just where I get it where I want it. This is where art and epoxy totally marry one another. It's a fusion. It's a fusion of art and epoxy. Oh yeah, this is, now watch, I'll just start moving that stick a little bit, just to give it some movement in that water. And here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put like a bunch right through here, because of course there would be foam right mm -hmm. in there, right? Oh yeah, that's really cool. Wow. That is really cool to watch. Guys, let me know in the comments, do you like this kind of content? Would you rather have edited videos that are quick, short, to the point to give you skills, or do you like the long form live content so you get a, a, an idea of how long things take? Like, I'm very interested in how we could better serve the community in what you guys are looking for. So let me know. That really means a lot to us in how we make our content. And if you're enjoying this video, be sure to crush that like button. And if you don't like it, crush the unlike button. No, don't do that. That you would can't suck. remove those. Dang it. Oh, this is really, really fun. Yeah, and you're going to give it some cool depth, adding a couple, you know, another layer of it. Wow.
Yeah, exactly. This is this is an undertone. So see how it's kind of. I'm gonna I'm gonna actually bring some of this out a little bit. Get on top of you. Just here. to give it. So I, I'm just kind of pulling some of that out, just so it's fading out into the water. Oh, that is really fun. I got to watching with my own eyes and forgot to move the camera. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So guys, do you have any ideas of what you're going to do for your custom Christmas presents and how you're going to use epoxy to help your list become the best ever? All right, I'm going to go to this other side and do it again. Chris, you want to go overhead on that? Look at that. Look at how that looks, man. Hey, Pops. Hold on. Oh. It's time sensitive, Pops. <laughs> we are live. No, we're not. No, we're not. Don't tell them we're live, dude. So the question we had a question on how long it it took you to create all these beautiful pieces behind us. The cool thing is you can watch each and every one of those pieces on a video on our YouTube channel, Stone Coat Countertops, right where you're at now on YouTube. Yeah, we do tutorials on those so that you can learn how to mimic Mother Nature, create custom countertops, tabletops, desktops. You can create your own gaming desks. You can even restore and renew thrift store furniture. Check this out. Come look at uh, look at the river table that we're making. This is an ocean river pour. <laughs> oh, that's, that's cool, right? That's fantastic. That's crazy. This is going to the, uh, Nate, boys to men. The white is this permanent? Yeah, this is uh, this is the this, white dye. This is the freaking uh, waves coming. Dad, out. we're live, so don't cuss. You're actually being recorded. See that? You're you're being recorded right now. <laughs> did I say something bad? No, no, no I'm just no. warning you. Come you over came here. Close to the line, but did not cross. You it. said freaking. It's okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> check check this out. I'll show you how how I'm putting let, it in. Let me comb my hair. Yeah, I know. Totally put so. You don't know, but we heard every cut you were making out there, and the audience is like, tell whoever's cutting to be quiet. So we did. Did they hear that? Yeah, they heard. Did you guys hear him? See, they're saying yes. They did. It's okay. You, you got well, your job done. I'm not going to cut no more wood now. All right. Give Dad some gloves. we got to have him do this. Denise was waiting for Dad to drop the F-bomb. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, this is... My dad is my brother and I's mentor. My dad is exact. Okay, dad, you got to spit out your gum when you're live. All right. Um, Dang it. I'm not yeah. touching that. My dad is, is, is my mentor. He's my friend. Um, he, uh, he, Mitch and I grew up working with my dad. He encouraged both of us to um, work. To start our own business, to pay him back for all the food we ate, yes. right? Um, but uh, talk about an example. Guys, if you are raising children, teach them a trade. Teach them to use their hands. Teach them to learn. The amount of information that is available to us um, for free is fantastic. So jump in there and do stuff with your kids. So in that spirit, we're going to throw gloves on. you got to finish the, the water, all right? Oh, okay. Okay, I'll grab you some gloves. So my dad runs our entire uh, shipping department. He's the one who gets everything to you. Dad, has there been an influx in orders that you have a hard time keeping up with? No. No, not at all, right? <laughs> yeah, not at all. So, guys, our, the our reason we do these shipping. coupon codes is to bury him. So help me bury him. Well, not not that way, but just make you busy. Well, I tell you. And do you know Ronda, how, RK3 is Mitch, can you help him get those on? Yeah. I don't even know if that's... He's already got a pot. Are these big? Are these big? You got me a poxy. Yeah, those are XL. I don't know. Here, never mind. Are those going to fit you? My dad's got the biggest hands of anybody I've ever seen. I got to wash up. I got it. All right. I That's, only need one. Yeah, you only need one. So I'm going to show you how I do it. So I just take the this. You don't want to take the stick out and cross the water. Right, right. So I take it out right by the land, and I'll just do that. And then after I get my water in, I'll take it and I'll just... I don't want to move it too much. I want to keep it close, and then after I like it close, I'll fade it out. See what I mean? So that you don't have those hard lines out here. I don't think I can do that. You got this. <laughs> you got this. What, well, you want me to do it over here? Yeah, so do it where there's no water. Yeah. Pops, have you done this before yet? Never done this. Actually, I, I, I'm not even lying. Yeah, you've never... I've yeah. filmed a lot of stuff. I, I kind of stayed away from this. Action. Action. <laughs> oh yeah. Going around the corner. 
Oh boy. Oh all right. Brother. He, he's dropping the cup. Oh god. Yeah, it's all good, man. You got water. You got water in the it's middle epoxy. of the ocean. It can be fixed. You guys, got... cheer my dad on, man. He's nervous. You're live. No, are you, are... it's uh, it's <laughs> it's, it's I've those had, thumbs. I've had carpal tunnel done on both hands, and this cup, I didn't get my finger underneath the bottom of it. Pops. Uh, so what you guys don't know about my dad, You're I'm gonna tell you while he's it. doing this. He's he's an artist. He grew up. He 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 uh, he taught us as we're growing up. He makes uh, leaded glass and stained glass windows. He beveled all his own glass. He made all the windows for one of Eddie Murphy's houses. And uh, actually, when I was 14 years old, working with my dad, saw Eddie Murphy, and we're installing windows in his house. So my dad is a very high level uh, artist when it comes to building homes he, this this guy taught us everything we know right mitch yes what i learned is the more that you working with your hands is something that everybody can do we have two hands and the more that you do things with your hands the more you you develop those skills the more doors open up that allow you to do more things this is kind of cool isn't it fun yeah, but I don't like that I gripped it in the... No, watch. This is what you do. Are like a seagull or Look, something. go to the drip here. Seagull go by. Go, go to the drip. Well, well, that'd be a big seagull in comparison. <laughs> All right, ready? This is how you hide it. See that? Yeah. It's hidden. It's a white cap. It's a white cap. That oh, actually I might like be... This. I like this. This is pretty cool. Isn't it awesome? Yeah. Okay, while it's you're doing that, right? I'm going to get a little bit of epoxy in here, and I'm going to make us some dark... So just to just to put a little bit of dark in here. Pops can do it. Even the old guy can do it. Look, I had a camera right there when I dropped that. Okay, so take your gloved hand and mix that around. Done. Did you fix it? You did so good, Dad. So when I when I grew up working with you, it we Chris, okay. When I grew up working with my dad, and this is true for Mitch too, um, let me know guys, can you relate to this story? When we tried to get a tool out of your hands to help you, <laughs> uh, man, like my dad would sit there and watch you like work and as soon as you started to slow down, he'd be like, give me that, give me that. And he, I mean, if we could- set the tool down, it was gone. Yeah, we could never keep up with you, but we learned to go to the other, oh, look, look at just barely mixing that. Oh my word. Look at what that does. Here, Chris, show him that. Look at what that does, just barely mixing that dye in there. So what we're gonna do is take that dye, and I'll finish the story is, we learned how to work through example, but, but trying to keep up with the old man wasn't easy, but. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I'm glad you got carpal tunnel. I'll never be able to touch that drill. <laughs> so glad you got carpal tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing is when, you, when you're working with, when you're working on a job, there, it's it's time sensitive. You, you don't have, you want to get the job done. You want to train, but you want to, you, ultimately you want to get the job done so you get paid and you can go to the next one. Right. So it was always, and I was bad at that, especially with Mitch, because I, I could have taken more time with him. The poor guy, we were, we were putting a lot of windows in, doing a lot of window replacement, and I would cock them all in, because I had a lot of practice at it. Pour that in the middle. And. Uh, just pour it? No, use that stick how I was yeah. dripping. But keep telling your story. And uh, Mitch wanted to cock, and, and I would always cock. I never, I never gave him the gun. I never relinquished the, the gun. I would, uh, he had to take the gun from me when I wasn't looking. <laughs> and, and run? And go around and cock the windows in. <laughs> Do you remember that? Yep. Yeah. I got pretty good at it. And as soon as I saw how good he was, I go, oh, okay. Because I did not have carpal tunnel. Well, I didn't know if I had carpal tunnel then. I was, wow. I've got it now. That was awesome. So what I'm doing here too, you're doing the deep blue, and I got this tropical turquoise because the color changes as you get closer to the shore, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm adding a little bit of that just to kind of test it. Now guys, we did some of this with Nate out there in Vegas. But those colors kind of washed together, okay? It gave us some cool depth, but if you want to retain these 100%, you need to do a thin layer or else the stuff's gonna move on you. And so we're gonna see how much this stays at three quarters of an inch. And then if we need to, we simply uh, do a thin coat and accentuate these. 
Are you hooked now? I like this. Oh, yeah. So guys, if you don't get your package today, it's because my dad's over here playing, but that's all good. We got backup over there. We do. We got, we, backup. you've trained a lot of folk. Catherine's here. Come here, honey. Come here. Okay. Come check this out. Guys, have you I met go, Catherine? Go to work. Oh, don't leave. You really going to leave? <laughs> Look, you got to see this. We don't. We don't handle guilt here come, very well. Come here. We're all too hard of workers. You just kind of like... <laughs> come look at this, babe. What okay. do you think? Yeah, this is so cool. This is very much like what we did with Nate. You know, I think that this is great. I think you'll like it. I do. I think he's going to be like, you didn't screw it up. Good job. Guys. So you were out there. You met Nate Morris. You met yeah. Boys to Men, yes. right? Mm -hmm. What? Uh, do you want some of that color, Mitch? Uh-huh. Just, I'm going to show you. Yeah, you put it in. Just a tiny amount, here. man. We do not need a lot at all. No, this is great. That and he really loved that color. That was an important color. He did. Yeah, I just yeah it up this is great. This is turning. Nate, in. We're not messing it up. No, we're not. And you got the deeper Who's blue that to? you really Nate wanted. Morris. This Boys is going to, to Boys to Men, Dad. Yeah. ABC. My dad is a very big Boys to Men fan too. <laughs> he, you're right. Well, Am you I lying? We dance with it, man. Let's see it. I can't. Doobly. Got two do replacements. Not too hard. It's not so too soft. hard <laughs> to say goodbye this to is one of the yesterday. Things that, that was fun. Ooh. This is beautiful. Right? Yeah, no, this was good. This is good. I love it. The directionality. Remember, it's supposed to be going that way. You should have Mitch do some clogging. Hey, Mike. Yes. He brought Mom it. says you three better behave. It's... It's tough when y'all are in the same room. <laughs> Is that she, my wife there? Yeah, mom, no, yeah, mom, yeah. I'm supposed to go by. Uh oh, I'm mom, dad's late now. because he's on a live video. I'm busted. Mom. Man, she knows all the things all the time. So, guys, who can relate to family business? <laughs> I'd like to know that. What's your okay. secret? Our secret is oh, cool. is let dad ruin a live video by running the saws and then include him on the video, right? Work hard. <laughs> many many I, people I are telling that, Mike job? to not give yeah. up his day job. It's awesome. So we. I I'm getting out done. Oh, you're not supposed to quit your day job. Don't give up your day job. I'm not a singer. We knew that. I'm going to sing some more. Life is over. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> here. We are done. We don't even talk anymore. We don't even know what we argue about. See, I, I got Good this, boy. man. I think I am going to quit. I'm going you for a singing career. singing career went. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> under the boardwalk, down by the sea, under the fun. boardwalk. We don't have fun. All right. We got to torch this, too. Let's torch it. Go ahead and torch that, Mitch. We got to fix here. that stuff. Just yeah, just, just wipe it. Yep. So that, what we usually do, like this. Get all that off of your oh, that is pretty. Holy cow. Where's your... Whoa. What's that, Mitch? Oh, swirling some of that turquoise. It's... Oh, man. Good job. This is that dye stuff? Dye, metallics, it's a mixture of a bunch. A bunch of everything. That's great. Should I put some more of that turquoise across the top, you think? I think or just leave it alone. It was deep. Yeah. I, all right. All right. All right, guys, time for the coupon code. Okay? The coupon code I will get right now for you. How many people are using this coupon code, Dad? All of them. Go, go overhead, Chris. Hero 15, all lowercase, no spaces. 15% off, not just, not just river table products, not just our countertop product, not just our one or two gallon kits. This is off our entire store. That includes our slab jigs, which are almost out of stock and we got yeah. on order, but we don't have a lot of those left. Uh, it's on our Artisan Summit tickets, which I shouldn't tell you because they're already a hundred bucks. The amount of value you're going to get out of that event. You were there last year. Yeah. Yeah, just the one speaker, Sean, was just, I was blown. I've been to a lot of positive uh, uh, conferences or what do you want to call them throughout my years of, of work. I've been to a lot of them. So I saw Paul Harvey, every astronaut speak, everything. Zig Ziglar, you saw Zig live? Zig Ziglar live, stood right in front of him. He was cracking up because I was laughing at him so much. And uh, when I heard Sean speak the last Artisan Summit, after like two minutes, I walked over to Mike and I said, if these people don't understand the value of just this one speaker, 
and what that gives them, they're missing out. Yeah, guys, I can't wait to meet you there. I can't wait for this entire, I don't know, everything coming up. It's just fantastic. So, guys, visit us anytime at stonecoatcountertops.com. One more thing. What? Miniature woodworking kits. Mm. 100 of them prepped, ready to go. They will be available in about 30 minutes from the end of this live. Those woodworking kits are going to fly. We saved them for this video. Uh, they've been ready to release. We've been asked about those. You tuned in. We did a big river table. Do you want to do this on a small scale and learn our small woodworking kits? It comes with the epoxy. It comes with the wood cut ready for your river. You're going to learn how to build a miniature form and you're going to do your color that comes in the kit too. They're totally affordable, yep. amazing family project. I turned mine into a clock. Right. Guys, go check those out. Do it with your kids this Christmas season. And until next time from Stone Coat Countertops, you, you got, got this. this. We'll see you on the next live. I could take those over to us, to the shop. Yeah. <laughs>